Let's assume you've got yourself a budget vinyl system. Turntable, amplifier, and a pair of speakers. And you're quite happy with that. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with that. Everything's fine. Everything works as per normal. And yet, and yet, there's a bit of an itch at the back of your neck, perhaps. A little bit of, a bit of that coming in to the music. You'd like some more. You'd like... Slight improvements here and slight improvements there. You'd, you're not disaffected, but that rhythm guitar could sound a little bit twangier, perhaps. There could be a bit more emotion in the lead vocal, maybe. The drums may sound not so much organic, but digital, even though they should be organic. Things like that. You may be catching that upgrade virus, and I've yet to see a cure, incidentally. So if you are at that stage, and you have a budget system, and because you have a budget system, let's assume that money is tight. Where do you go? What's the first move? There's two ways to go. You can go down the ancillaries section, so that's improving all the accessory bits that go in and around your system, which I highly recommend. And I'm talking about things like replacing the, the turntable platter mat, having isolation feet on your turntable, stuff like that, cables, all that sort of stuff. That's, that's great, and I will talk about that in another video. The only issue with that is when you enhance all the ancillaries, you're basically cleaning up and shining what's there. You're giving what's there, the foundation, a polish. You're enhancing what's available. What I would like to do first, before you get to that point, is to actually change the foundation, the very core of your system, to give it a best shot, as it were. There is room for a basic foundational improvement. That's what I'm trying to say. And the turntable is where I'd like to focus on this video. When you look at a, at a turntable, it's a partnership. It's a, it's, a, it's a cooperation, a cooperative combination. It's a bit of a Sesame Street in analog terms. Everything works well with each other, everything cooperates. It's, there's a sort of holy trinity of bits on a turntable. There's the chassis, which comprises your plinth, and your platter and other parts beginning with P. Then there's your tone arm, vastly underrated part of a turntable, incidentally. And the cartridge, that's the third part. Plinth and the platter, the chassis bit, the tone arm and the cartridge. They're the three main bits. It's the cartridge I want to look at. It's the cartridge which I feel can really give you bang for your buck if you're going to upgrade. And you can do it on a budget system for not a great deal of cash. I mean, you're going to spend a bit, yes, but not mega bucks, okay? And the improvement you'll get back normally will be good enough for you to say to yourself, in so many words, whoa, in whatever language you care to, to say that in. What we're talking about here basically is capacity. The turntable, most turntables, Maybe not all, but most turntables tend to have capacity to burn. And the default cartridge that normally comes with a budget turntable, because most budget turntables arrive with an arm and a cartridge built in nowadays. And I would say that most turntables, there's a bit of capacity there. There's a bit of unfulfilled promise. And the cartridge is where you can enhance that promise. Most turntables, I'm thinking on my feet here, will come with, more than likely this is, with some form of Audio-Technica basic cartridge. This will normally be a cartridge with a, uh, a conical tip, a stylus tip. I'm talking about the, the diamond bit. Uh, for, for just in case you're not aware. You've got your cartridge. The 
use the cantilever, a sticky outy bit. And then right at the very tip, you've got your stylus. There, the shape of that stylus is important. It can come in different shapes, and the most exotic of shapes are normally attached to the most expensive cartridges. Conical tips are normally found at the cheaper end of the scale. Conical tips are, they look like the back end of an elephant. Imagine the back end of an elephant. That's basically the shape of a conical stylus. So they're fine. They're, uh, you can get decent sound from a conical tip cartridge. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with them. They track well, you know, they stick to the, uh, to the groove well. Not a great deal of uh, surface noise. And uh, they're, they're good value. There's nothing wrong with them. But you can do better. The next one up, as it were, is called the elliptical stylus tip. Cartridges generally are just slightly more expensive, but they're worth it. If you saw an elliptical cartridge in the groove and compared it to a conical cartridge in the groove, the elliptical would be more responsive, uh, more active, tracking each and every nuance curve uh, more accurately. It's all over the place. So imagine two people doing the drive, okay? Two people doing the drive, that's an elliptical stylus tip. So conical, elliptical, Back end of an elephant doing the drive. Basically, there, there's your imagery. The elliptical uh, stylus tip then gives you great value for, for the money you're spending. Or when I say money, I'm talking around, I don't know, £35 maybe. So, sticking with Audio Technica for now, there's other cartridges out there. Uh, uh, also fun, do, do nice uh, uh, cartridges. Uh, gold ring, I think, uh, in the E series. Would it be the E1? Anyway, there's a few manufacturers out there, but let's just stick with Audio Technica because it's possible that you may have the conical version of the Audio Technica in your tent table. If you upgraded from that to something like an AT95E, uh, which generally speaking is somewhere around 35 pounds and you can pick it up all over the place amazon ebay i'm sure your local dealer could grab one for you your local your local hi-fi dealer if you have one and uh, uh they're all over the place ask me if uh, if you're not sure then if you fit one of those you will notice an enhancement in sound quality you will experience an improvement. What sorts of improvements? Well, let's go back, I mentioned earlier on about some of the issues you may find. The, the drums, I mentioned the drums. You will notice a little bit more of an organic feel, less, less sort of, uh, remember in the 80s you used to get those Lindrum sounds, very sort of digital plastic sounding drums. Instead of that, you'll have that little bit of organic feel coming in to the drums. Basically, a drum is a, is a container with a bit of dead skin on the top, isn't it? So you want the dead skin sound. And basically, that's what you're getting more of with the elliptical. Also, you're going to get the, the first inklings of um, reverb tails. What I mean by that is if you hit a cymbal, it won't go, well, it shouldn't do, unless, unless the songwriter and the musician wants it to be. But generally speaking, if you hit a, a floppy cymbal, you're going to get a and it's going to go on for some time, hopefully, generally speaking. With an elliptical cartridge, you're going to be able to hear more of that sort of subtlety. Less so with a conical, more so with an elliptical. Again, vocal, you're going to get a little bit more uh, nuance in the voice. You're going to get a little bit more emotion, a little bit more, you know, uh, a bit of that going on which I'm sure you want and need desperately. So that's what an elliptical would bring to you. If you've got any uh, questions about your particular turntable, if you're not sure what you have, if you think you may have a conical and you're not too sure and you'd like to know and you're not too sure how to find out. I mean, if you Google, it'll tell you, but if you're not too sure, 
ask in the comments below, by all means. If you have uh, a conical uh, cartridge and you, you want some advice, comments would be nice. You're welcome to ask. If you have an elliptical, I'd love to know what type you have. As I say, there's a few out there. What, do, what, what elliptical cartridge do you have? And uh, do, do you like it? Have you done the upgrade? Tell us what, in your experience, uh, the differences, what, those A, B differences. What did you hear? What differences did you hear? I'd love to know. Uh, if you do, keep it clean, no swearing, uh, be polite. This is a family channel and I will see you on the next vid and we'll talk about more upgrades in this series. Okay, so uh, yeah, there you go. Bye, bye, bye.